Hello and welcome to the Mike Guarneri Podcast. This is episode 60, the big 6-0. Today we're continuing on our meditation series. This is um, going to be the fifth out of the eight um, component parts of meditation. I'm sorry, not of meditation, of yoga, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, and we're up to what's called Pratyahara. And that's number five out of eight. So Pratyahara is a turning inward of um, the senses that disengage you from the distractions of the external world. And it sharpens your focus on your internal experience. So that's why we say we're turning inward. We're not concerned with the external world. We're just concerned with cutting off all distractions and focusing on our internal world, our internal experience, if you will. So Pratyahara is actually a very vital preliminary step before the practice of uh, dharana, which involves concentration, and dhyana, which is meditation. And that kind of makes sense because you're starting to build up that concentration and that focus in advance of actually doing concentration and meditation so this withdrawal the withdrawal of the senses allows the practitioner or the person doing the yoga uh, to connect with their inner world and create optimal conditions for self-realization that's big what else do i got here pretty pretty hara also helps provide an understanding of how much the mind is influenced by sensory input and to acknowledge the role of thoughts and feelings and suffering. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a very short one. It's clearly a preliminary step. But, you know, it gets the, uh, gets the train started down the track. That's, I guess, all it's supposed to do. So, that is Pratyahara. So, how, how's everybody doing these days? You probably realize by now, because I have the same shirt on every every day for the last few days, that these are all been all been pre-recorded podcasts. Um, because on Thursday, March 14th, I am having or had, depending upon when you <laughs> well, by the time you're watching this, I've had my uh spine surgery and I'm either still in the hospital or, or just home and in no condition to record podcasts. And I didn't want to leave you guys without anything. I, I know I'm a vital part of your day. <laughs> so so I, I pre-recorded a week's worth or so. That way, uh, there's something up for you every day of the week. If nothing else is to laugh at me. Hey, look at this stupid guy doing a podcast. But in any event, hopefully I'm doing well and hopefully I'll be back you know, uh, in a little bit more of a real-time basis uh, shortly. And if you haven't heard already, I say it every every day on these um, podcasts, my new book is coming out April 17th. It's called Anxiety Alchemy, How to Improve Mental Health with Ancient Wisdom. It's a physical, actual book with real pages and a spine and covers and everything. The book is being sold at cost plus shipping. I am making zero money on the books. I just want to get the books into the hands of you find people that hopefully you might find find it useful and helpful with any anxiety issues you may be having. And shortly after the book comes out, I'm planning on uh, starting a old school physical newsletter, which is going to be kind of interesting, too. I remember getting those back in the day, you know, anticipating the mail coming. Is it coming today? Is it coming today? So that's going to be interesting. But the important thing is if you want to keep in the loop and you want to get the link to buy my book, the cost when it's released on April 17th, the best and possibly only way to get that link and to get that information is from my email list. I'll be emailing it out. So please head over to mikeguarneri.com. The link is in the description and sign up for my email list. That way you won't miss anything. So until tomorrow, stay well.